Well, the NHL has kind of gone out of the way to keep this thing afloat, right? I mean, including financially floating the Arizona Coyotes for a number of years as they tried to find owner after owner. Like I, I've I've always, and I've asked you know, the commissioner this question uh, a number of different times, you know, how do you decide when a market is is done? This was around the time that the Atlanta Thrashers were, were moving um, uh, before the Atlanta Thrashers moved to Winnipeg, where it was very much in doubt whether you know, they were going to survive in that marketplace. And he said, well, the formula is simple. Once there's no one there that wants to own it, that market is is done. And Gary Bettman has always believed and, and felt that um, Arizona could be a viable market. Um, is he closing up shop or tucking tail too soon? I mean, Listen, we've been we've been talking about this story and the future of the Arizona Coyotes going back to 2009. And I know that there's been a lot of frustration out there about, you know, oh, just shut it down, just close it. There's a couple of things here. One, it's a move that he's always fought for. And, you know, going back to the jobbing.com days, you know, I arena days, you know, I've always been of the mind and I don't think I'm in the minority here as well, that when a community builds a rink for the NHL, there is a certain loyalty that comes along with that from the NHL. And I think that, that went a long way for the commissioner. And this one um, was pride part of it. You know, once the NHL had, had dug in their heels, yeah, probably, maybe. But I just think that they looked at it and, and said to themselves, if we're going to be, you know, a capital N national hockey league we need to have all the big markets and when we're executing national sales and they're going to come around to say well do you have anything in arizona we want to be able to say yes um so i'm not i'm not going to uh, pin the tail on the on the nhl on this one for why the the arizona coyotes are, are moving here it's there's a number of of fingers you can point in a lot of different directions i think but I, I do think, and I, I do believe this one, that the NHL is not quitting on this market right now. It's more just a pause, and they really do want to go back. And they still they still see value in Arizona, and eventually that the you know, Arizona will have a team again. I want to follow up on that because there, you, you cannot sure. possibly question Gary Bet- Bettman's commitment to this market. Um, we, we, we joked a while back, I think I wrote the lead that, that sort of became a thing, that this is bizarro world out here because it's the only market that boos Wayne Gretzky and cheers Gary Bettman. He has done so much (laughs) that people have talked about actually erecting a statue of him in front of the arena when it gets built. That said, Jeff, who vetted these ownership groups that have owned the Coyotes over the years? That's the NHL, and that's something that, listen, this has been, this has kind of been a consistent story in the NHL going back to its inception in 1917. And not that I can make Gary Bettman responsible for something that happened when you know the NHA transformed into the NHL, but I mean the entire league was was initially predicated on a double cross with Eddie Livingston. But here endeth that history lesson. I mean it's the <laughs> NHL that 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 vets these owners absolutely. And you know there's been you know a couple of hey listen the the old joke was always you know the NHL has always been the league that you know the outside of you know baseball, football, basketball, all the majors where the owners go to prison more so than the players do. Um, this is, you know, the, the, the NHL vets them. Have they stepped in it a couple of times? Well, yes, of course they have. But the short answer to the question is CNHL who vets these people. Yeah. And that's, I guess that's the part that I go back to. Like, I, I, I'm not sure the NHL is entirely blameless when you look at Steve Ellman, when you look at the ice Arizona fiasco, when you look at Andy Barraway and now Mm -hmm. Alex Morello, is it, is it that hard, I guess, to find a good ownership group for this situation because of the challenges inherent here. Yeah. I mean, I would go back to the idea that, you know, uh, in that situation where the NHL was controlling the Arizona coyotes, I mean, if the alternative is to pull up stakes and, and move relocate, uh, or fold as opposed to, you know, um, believing what you believed about all those people and, and entities that just pointed out and maybe hold their hand in the process. What's, what's the better way to proceed here? Mm-hmm. Not taking the NHL totally off the hook, but I mean, this was an organization that was in a very precarious state for a lot of years. And there have been a number of times where people have talked about like, are the Arizona Coyotes going to dissolve? Are we actually going to see that? Will there not even be? Um, a relocation like it hasn't been perfect at all Uh, a lot of the ownership situations have been to be kind questionable but I think that at every turn they've they've kind of scrambled to hold on to 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 anyone who would try to keep this thing afloat and try to provide some type of a vision for the for the future of that team. 